Rapper and content creator Saweetie is going out sad since her breakup with Quavo. Allegedly, that's what people are saying. That's what the critics are saying. Welcome guys to another episode of Sandra Said What? Um, welcome back to my day ones. And if you are a newcomer, be sure to click that subscribe button, that like button, that follow button, whatever it is on, on what is this, YouTube? So many social media platforms to keep up with. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get my videos and just show some love, you know? So today's video is going to be about rapper Saweetie, her breakup with Quavo and basically toxic relationships. Again, I don't do celebrity gossip, but you know, if there is something that's a trend on social media that's relatable to regular people, folks like you and me, of course I want to discuss that. So if you're not familiar with rapper Saweetie, she is... An artist and content creator I really started getting familiar with her about a year ago just because I saw her page her Instagram profile and I really really liked her feed I think her feed is very well done and I literally we just found out shout out to essence girls United that behind Saweetie's social media branding is a black woman okay and I was reading about her and also Drake and how you know they are able to brand themselves based on the one on the pictures that they post and I think Saweetie is one of those great people who have really greatly branded themselves and I'm inspired by that so I followed her I don't I'm not really familiar with her prior content before rapping and what she's doing now but I was really taken enough by her page so you say oh I like this girl I like the way she's branding herself and her branding is very on point it's very smart you can say whatever you want about her but she has done a great job at branding herself and finding her niche and finding her supporters and uh, so that I really um, admire about her oh my god I can't talk okay so with rapper Saweetie she was dating Quavo from the Migos which is a group a rap group um they're very successful they're they're from atlanta uh, migos is made up of quavo offset and takeoff yes i thought i was gonna forget her name um offset is married to cardi b and quavo was dating um saweetie i remember when quavo and saweetie was hitting the scene when back when offset and cardi b really just started dating people were like oh my gosh she's trying to be cardi b so bad blah 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 but what i want to talk to Day about is the fact that Quavo and Saweetie have now broken up and it's come out that he has cheated on her multiple times so Quavo and Saweetie's relationship recently ended and it was all over social media where Saweetie told him to take care after he said I did, I thought you were you're not the woman I thought you were and it turned out that their relationship was a bit toxic and to where it was getting physical there was like an elevator altercation to where the FBI um, the police wanted to investigate it's like really two people were in a relationship and they had an altercation that they not they didn't involve you in but people are dying when we ask you to get involved you don't get involved but you want to get in a business okay so apparently the police was investigating them and they were like yeah it's something that happened so we said it was something that happened a year ago whatever and it was released by tmz and all these other social media platforms that wow because so we and quavo were really thought to be the dream um couple goals okay couple social media couple goals they were unproblematic as far as i could see um he only took care of his girl lavished her with gifts um helped her with her raps allegedly um you know basically the rap as we know in rap <laughs> and you know these men are not really known for being faithful right so people were saying oh look at Quavo all he does is love on his girls and treat her right you people need to learn people were writing thought pieces about their relationship oh my god they are the dream couple the couple to be like to aspire to be like whatever and it came out that their relationship was actually not what was being seen on the surface behind those gifts were him cheating on her or you know not being the guy that people thought he was and that was his way of making up and after they broke up Social media, you know, was taken so we decide originally and we know how cheating men love their privacy and he was basically mad that she outed him for putting their business out there and all she said was take care, peace out. And after that it was alleged that he had gotten her a car and repossessed the car or whatever. So it was a whole bunch of foolishness. So now Saweetie is um, on her own, basically single. She 
change her hair she said she changed her number so it's like hot girl summer or what's it what was she she got something going on icy girl summer or pretty girl summer um yeah that she's trying to get going kind of like Megan Thee Stallion it's good to be associated with something like that kind of like city girls uh whatever hot girls because it helps you with your branding and it really gets you a loyal following you don't have to search too far to find out that Saweetie has a lot of fans and dislikers I don't want to say haters because I feel like that word is not only overused but it's misused a lot just because people are not fans of something doesn't mean they're a hater it's just maybe not their cup of tea um, she sells a lot of sex and a lot of stereotypical hood girl behavior or personality that's her ammo look at her on page you'll see that's her whole branding right so her whole idea is she's from the she's a round away girl with a father who went to jail and now she's a hot girl with a hot bod and she's a rapper and she's doing the thing she's the icy girl she's the it girl she's the popping girl period that's her in a nutshell um a lot of people are not fans of her music a lot of people say she's not a good rapper she's not a good musician but that's besides the point and a lot of people do think that um her then boyfriend Quavo was someone helping her and condoning her even though she was not a good artist and you know and still condoning her she's very pretty and people keep telling her she should be a model and people a lot of people do feel that she does get away with not being such a good artist because of her skin tone as we know the advertising world the music world the everywhere around in America and throughout the world people with lighter skin tone are rewarded which so we even addressed and acknowledged in an interview recently so a lot of people are saying she's not good you know so now um, that um, Quavo and Saweetie have broken up people are saying she's going out bad Saweetie has had a few not so great performances even one as recently as um, with what's her name Doja Cat where they were performing at a fight club and Saweetie did not do so well to say to be nice that's putting it nicely and Doja Cat basically they're saying that she killed it and so we said that she was going to boot camp or for artists to kind of like hone in on her skills a few more questions for you they're still talking music but uh, i'm just going to transition that over into what about live performances because like you someone we've seen on big festival stages we've seen you do tours we've seen you lay it down on the live stage and you have such great energy when you perform obviously we in these weird ass times and shit's been hella weird for the past year and a half when the album comes out, are you already thinking ahead to what's going to happen with live performances for you? Yeah, I already started training for it. So I think yeah. one of my, not I think, but one of my goals in life is to be a great performer. So I recently just left the boot camp that I was in in Turks and Caicos. I resumed back into boot camp in May. Um, but it's something that you have to work on because, I mean, your presence can be amazing, but if you can't perform a full song without without your breath like without you losing mm -hmm. wind it it really um can take away from it so i'm about to start going into like heavy um one-on-one -on -one training and then rehearsals for my boot camp so my body about to be in tip top shape girl oh like some time ago she did a live rapping on some interview and she was embarrassed and she wasn't so good and she even said she had PTSD from the reaction that she got from people and so now people are she's performing on her own putting out content and people are saying oh you're going out sad because now that you've broken up with Quavo you don't sound the same your music basically sucks you don't have bars and I guess he was the one um, writing your music and helping you out and making you it and what I wanted to address from this situation it's not just so with his music or her branding or her um, looks it's the relationship part of it so she was with a man where she um, didn't have the best relationship no matter what it appeared to social media she was great and keeping you know a saving face I can not understand because me I'm that way too I don't put my business on social media so you wouldn't know if it's good bad or indifferent right so I understand that she's not gonna put her business out there and when it's time to let the situation go she let it go and now people are saying oh you my question to people is what would you have her done would you have wanted her to stay in a toxic in a toxic relationship that has gotten to the point where it's getting physical is that what you are saying because I know a lot of people they want to talk about Cardi B and how her husband cheats on her and she stays and it's embarrassing and a lot of other people Khloe Kardashian that I just made a video about why is she staying in this relationship? This is embarrassing for you. You know, why are you staying in this relationship? And here's a woman who was in a relationship. And even though she was being lavished with gifts or whatever else, 
realized, wow, this was not a good situation, so I'm going to have to leave the situation. And did so, which took courage, and I commend her for that. And now people are saying you're going outside. So what would you have wanted her to do? Like, people do not think before they post on social media. People like to have an opinion, just to have an opinion. Like, I have an opinion right now. But my question is, if someone's in a toxic relationship, an abusive relationship, not to say that's what their relationship was, an unhappy relationship for whatever reason, and they choose to leave, why are you vilifying them and demonizing them and making them seem like, why would you leave this person? Oh, you could have done better. You should, should she have just stayed and endured heartbreak and difficulties and let it escalate to a point of no return? You guys know physical relationships are likely to end in death okay you are likely to die at the hands of your partner if your partner is abusive period point blank look up the research so why are people here saying she's going outside i saw she's been posting you know doing her thing and she did some kind of life stuff that she's now addressed because she was people were saying basically she was begging for tips and performing for tips thinking she's broke One thing I, I don't buy that, I don't buy that so is broke. Because they just woke up maybe a month ago or so. How like why would she already be broke? Even if he was supplying her with a lot of different things. So has done a great job at branding her. One thing about her, she gets a bag. She's doing ma magazine covers. Uh, she's putting out music, whether or not you like it, people are streaming and buying it. So she's making money from that. She's great at creating content. She has a great presence, great personality, and you know, all the other stuff. I have my personal opinion on what her branding actually is. You know, they're using the ghetto girl idea to, you know, get away with things, and other people are the ones that suffer the consequences of that because of your privilege. But my thing is, do not demonize her just because she chose happiness over a bad relationship just because she was getting Birkin bags she's even the one that started the whole conversation about the Birkin bags right which is a conversation out of my bracket because I can't afford a Birkin bag I don't I'm not gonna say I wouldn't want a Birkin bag if somebody give it to me I would definitely take it if it's that valuable I probably flip it and make some money and do something else with it invest it but that's just me personally because I don't believe in blowing money like that but regardless of what you're getting in a relationship whether it be financially if you are not being served emotionally if your relationship has gone toxic if your relationship is abusive if you're unhappy i will always commend you for having the strength to walk away no matter how difficult it is for you and please stop judging people and i just really wish people on social media would stop for one second and think before they like just think for two seconds longer before you type that because what you're saying can be clearly irrelevant and point blank stupid so I do not believe she's going outside the fact that she made oh yeah and then people keep saying oh Quavo won and he won maybe he won in that he's not living his best life good for him they both deserve to leave, live their best life don't they I mean they're young they're making money they're they're successful and that one right they deserve happiness and even if something bad happened with Quavo he deserves um, a chance to change and redeem himself and grow everyone can grow and change but just the whole point about she's going outside that really hurt me he can stop please leave me your thoughts on this I really want to know like is she going outside should she have stayed for a couple more Birkin bags or a couple more cars or I don't know if he got her real estate which is what I would really want to be Okay, in cash, buy in cash because I don't want to have to put nothing off. But you know, just let me know your thoughts in the comment. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye.